live with the West Virginia Department of Transportation. We're here in Prince at the Thomas Buford Pugh Memorial Bridge. Since 1931, it's crossed the New River, connecting Fayette County and Raleigh County. But recent bridge inspections have found a few problems, and that's led to some changes here, dropping the bridge from 15 tons to three tons, the allowable limit, on this bridge. We're joined today by Adrian Lusk, who is with the Division of Highways and a bridge engineer. You've been out here a lot lately, Adrian. What are the big concerns right now? Well, when we found the broken member on this one right here, our major concern was to make sure that it didn't happen on any of the other members on the bridge. Uh, this particular member was rated at 43 tons, and the bridge was posted at 15. So. You know, something happened that made this one break as opposed to the others, and we're kind of concerned of what that might have been. For some people that may not understand, what exactly does this do? Well, this acts, this whole uh, side of this bridge acts like a steel beam. When a vehicle passes through, it transfers the load from the deck into these members, and that carries the load and puts it into the piers or the abutments and transferring the load to the ground. And we mentioned that it dropped from 15 tons to three tons. What other precautions? We see the, the beam back there. What, what exactly is that for, Adrian? Well, that was to limit the, uh, the size of truck that can get on here. Since we didn't know what caused this fracture, we wanted you know, to keep all trucks off this bridge. So we lowered the height, putting these beams up to where a truck can get on here, and also lowered the posting so that we could make the bridge last longer. But when it comes to, some people may say, uh, our ambulance is going to be able to get across. You guys have a kind of agreement if emergency vehicles need to get across, they can. Well, we talked with JanCare, the local provider of the ambulance service through here, and they gave us the dimensions of their uh, ambulance. And we uh, made these barriers and the posting uh, and gave them a letter that stated what they could take across, and they can take an ambulance across here. We did put some restrictions, like we didn't want five of them on here at one time, and uh, other concerns of that nature. Of course, safety for the DOH, the major concern here, but for the people that live here, you get some feedback because this bridge is about convenience. If you take this bridge away, they're gonna have to drive a lot longer. Talk a little bit about that. Well, the detour to Beckley, I mean, if you live in this house or the ones that live down here, it's basically 53 miles just to get to Beckley. Wow. Whereas if you drive across the bridge, it's eight. So that's a major detour for anyone that's living out here. Yeah, because you guys, with the public hearing coming up, you're talking about the possibility of closing it, but also not only that, but where to put it. Yes. And there are some different options there as well. Yes. Uh, you know, the primary thing they want to do is put the... Uh, bridge downstream but that's going to entail uh, you know a lot of environmental uh, permits uh, they're working through those now with all the concerned agencies uh, but to build the new bridge downstream you're looking at maybe three years wow. and again we want to tell people that safety is the big thing and you were saying that you're here almost once a week checking on things because if it gets to where you think it's not safe you guys are going to shut it down. That's correct. Uh, originally the bridge was being inspected every 12 months when it was posted for 15. Since we found this uh, broken member and of course we've made repairs to various other members also but uh, what we are doing we're doing official inspections every three months Myself and I and my staff, we're down here about every other week. Uh, I mean, we're spending a lot of time on this structure. Yeah. Uh, the public hearing is coming up, so if you have the concerns, you want to find out about the other options of where it's going to be built, that's going to be on February 15th at the Amtrak station here in Prince, and that's going to run from three to six. And of course, if you can't make it out, you can always send your comments through mail at the address that you see on the screen. And also, you can send those comments online. Just head over to www.transportation.wv.gov.